our favorite feature, probably our favorite and most dangerous feature about the van. Let's do it for the first time because yes. we haven't ever used it before. Welcome back to the channel. We are Janine and Liam Day, a married couple in our late 30s who are attempting to live full time in the back of our converted removals truck in Britain. Each day we find new places to travel and wild camp and with it brings a new set of challenges as we adapt to living on the road. Van life in the UK has thrown its fair share of hurdles our way so far, but each week we persist and pursue our dream of escaping the rat race and experiencing a freedom we have only dreamed about. Last week, after many issues with the van, we finally got to set off on our new big adventure where we attempt to travel the majority of the British coast in a circular loop before August. The aim of the trip is to see if Morgan, the big green removals van, is capable of doing something bigger across the continent. We began this epic journey last week in Kent and made our way through Essex to Suffolk where this episode begins. This week we see if the Suffolk coast is as beautiful as people often say and try out some new features of the van that we have never used before. So please subscribe, strap in and hit the like button and let's see what happens this week as we live in and travel in our removals van Morgan. Welcome back to the channel. We are still in Ipswich. We have had the most incredible mammoth brunch um, this morning at a place called Hanks. If you ever get the chance, go there. It is incredible. We got invited there. As you know, we've been in Ipswich for a few days now. Uh, we got invited there by those guys. I'm so glad that we went. It was the most incredible experience, but my God, are our bellies full. We were drinking cocktails, eating sort of like plant-based chicken and waffles with syrup on. It was insane. Um, right now, we are definitely going to be leaving Ipswich though. We've had a great time. We're going to continue pretty much for the first time though along the Suffolk coast and head into Norfolk. Maybe by the end of this video our aim is to try and get into Norfolk uh, because we've got to keep the pace going. So that's our aim. We And another thing that we really want as well is we want to find some nice beach park ups. If we can find some, do some wild camping on the beach then I'm going to be very very happy. Uh, but for now we're going to leave Ipswich. So off we went up the Suffolk coast making a beeline for a place called Orford. As we left Ipswich, we remarked on what a sunny day it was. The sun felt warm, there was a slight breeze in the air, but a great climate for some beach action. You know that will do it, won't it? Let's see what Orford's all about. Subscribe to recommended this place. We're just going to work out why we're here now, <laughs> as you do. We headed off to wander around this quaint little town of Orford. It's absolutely stunning. We've literally only been walking down the road for about two minutes and already I can see how beautiful this place is. There's flowers everywhere, um, little cottages, a church and there's a castle as well. Um, it's supposedly one of the most beautiful coastal towns in Suffolk. We went to go and see the town's castle built by Henry II in the 1100s. We struggled to find it. That can't be. Yeah. <laughs> how disappointing. I'm actually really gutted. I was so excited to see this castle. It's there still. <laughs> I, can't, I literally can't see any of it. I'm really gutted. I just hope that they can work on it really quickly and get it ready for summer so people can come here and see it. Well, no castle today, but it did have a beautiful church, shops, bars and a gorgeous marina. Popular with both locals and tourists, a great place to hang out on such a sunny day. We both love it here and intend on coming back to see the castle but we had to move on. Okay, so we're back in the van now. We are leaving Orford and we're heading to a place called Aldebra. Um, we're going there because we are hoping that we can find somewhere to park up for the evening by a beach, fingers crossed. Um, so that's what we're hoping to do. So we're gonna go there now, but on the way, we're gonna head to a farm shop because it's asparagus season and we noticed there are quite a few asparagus farms around this area so we thought we'd pick some up on the way. If they get any smaller than this, we can't go in it. Uh, but it's just up here. Oh, hopefully. They're shooting soon, we best go. I actually cannot believe how pretty this little village is. Oh, it's not even a village. It's like just out deep in the countryside but right next to a rape farm. It's so gorgeous. I'm walking up to the rape farm now. I've never been in a rape field before. It's so nice. One of my dreams when I was younger was to go in the middle of a rape field 
and have a picnic. Oh. But um, I think it's a little bit impossible and I don't think it would be that glamorous actually. No. <laughs> we left the field and headed into the shop with hopes of finding fresh asparagus and we were happy to see they had some. They also had some fresh apple juice made with four different types of apples. We chose two bunches of asparagus and a russet apple juice. We paid these in the honesty box, then left to head to find a park up in a coastal village called Aldebra. We found a car park right on the beach that looked perfect. This looks like it might work. There's a motorhome, there's a motorhome over there, so I was gonna go check it out. Can't see any parking restrictions. Just that one that says this area is not suitable for, la for motorhomes and larger vehicles. Well, we've gotten in, so let's stay. Okay, so me and Liam are both so full up from that food we had earlier. We had so much. <laughs> so we've decided just to skip dinner. Um, we've got like a, a brownie that we're gonna have. So I'm gonna make a cup of tea now and we're just gonna eat that. Um, Liam's decided that he's going to sort out our spice racks um, and they need sort of drilling holes into before we can put them up. We're gonna put them up inside one of our cupboards so he's doing that now um, and I'm just I'm gonna make a tea and we're gonna chill and then go and look at this gorgeous beach every singer needs a song I put this rope that I bought from Amazon and I put it through the holes, just one big long rope up there like that and that should work well. We did that in Frida, only Frida's one was that big um, but we bought two bigger ones this time because we've got loads of spices. So yeah, should we put it up now? Yeah, let's do it. Pilgrim trail, pilgrim trail. That's uh, it's all in, done. Yeah? Yeah. Works, awesome. fits. Happy days, that's good news, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got spice. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so happy that we've got a spice rack, two spice racks, and they're huge ones as well. Um, I've been waiting for this whole time to get the spice racks up. It's the part of the whole sort of thing that gets me really excited to be able to access spices easily. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited and tonight I'm going to get all of my spices from the box that we've got up in the cupboard and I'm going to put them all in there and it's going to be brilliant. <laughs> I've just eaten all that Biscoff and brownie and all that sort of stuff and I'm feeling like I need to go for a big long walk. Okay, cool. Should we put our coats on and go for a walk on Let's the Let's do it. In no time at all, we jumped out the van and made our way along the footpath by the beach. Aldebra seemed like a small sleepy town with very few people and a pristine beach. The sun was setting to the west over the marshland opposite the beach and it was beautiful. We headed back to the van and I loaded up the spice rack. How amazing does this spice rack look? Oh my God, I can't believe it. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna organize it. I'm gonna sound like a right geek now, but I'm gonna put, it's color coded and I'm also gonna put it in alphabetical order. Um, geek. <laughs> Proper geek. Also, these spice racks are awesome. If you've got a drill and you can make sure that you put the rope on so they don't fall off. But I've noticed that a co-op spices fit not sure what that is but it fits that one fits but the one that doesn't fit is sainsbury's it actually doesn't fit on the bottom which is really annoying so i might change those over oh and also these ones fit as well the schwartz so yeah just good to know i'm gonna finish this off and really geek out on spices now <laughs> well i finished off my spice rack obsession and we chilled for the rest of the evening
beautiful, beautiful day. I know. I'm just sat here looking out this hatch, thinking we should blatantly make this the first time that we go out on that hatch. That's such a good idea. Let's go out on the roof because it's such a beautiful day. There's hardly any wind. We're on the beach. We're camping on the beach. Let's do it for the first time because yes. we haven't ever used it before, and it's got. To, it's just going to be brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. We're together, but I'm sheltered by your heart. But in the outside, I turn to water like a teardrop in your palm, and it's a hard winter's day. Amazing, amazing, amazing park up and start of the day. Getting up on that hatch and onto those, that decking on top of our van for the first time was amazing. That was the first time we've ever used it and it's already, we've just discussed in, our favorite feature, probably our favorite and most dangerous feature about the van. And it was the best start to the day ever. I'm so pleased. I'm just, we're just planning more thing, ways of interacting with that feature now. Um, yeah, amazing and the park up as well. One of the best park ups I think we've ever been to. So good start to the day. We are heading further down the Suffolk coast now. And uh, yeah, in a really good mood. The roof decking is definitely our new fan favorite, but I have to admit I was a bit scared as it was so high up, but fun nonetheless. After a beautiful start to the morning, we drove up the coast, admiring the countryside and the gorse in full bloom lining the roads. We went to a small village of Dunwich for a quick coffee before realising we had a situation that needed urgently addressing. That socks, Liam. Yeah, well, you know, it's um, we've, we've come to the point where I've completely run out of socks because we've got the biggest laundry pile known to man, and I'm about borrowing Janine's socks, and these are Janine's last pair as well, which means if we don't find laundry soon, it's flip-flop territory or nothing. <laughs> So um, we've got to, we've really, really got to find a laundrette. So with urgent washing pending, we drank our coffees and made our way to check out Dunwich Beach. Dunwich is a small town situated in an area of outstanding natural beauty on the Suffolk coast. Dunwich Beach is owned by the National Trust and surrounded by heath and marshland. Local folklore talks of the dark heart of Dunwich and the story of a maiden who haunts the beach searching for her lost love. Some people say that during storms you can hear the bells of lost churches ringing from below the waves. How amazing and rustic is this beach? It's so wild and empty. It's so... and look at this. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that's so funny. That's definitely going to be us in a minute. Um, but yeah, there's this whole massive group of bearded collies. They're having like a group meet up on the beach and it's so cute. Oh my god, this is a leg workout. Oh. Over there is, I think, that's Southwold. Southwold is potentially where we're going to hopefully find another park. It looks nice, isn't it? Yeah. As a pier. Do you want to go? Yeah, let's go. Let's go and do it <laughs> on this beautiful day. Yeah. 
so we're heading off to Southwold now. It's the next point of interest along the coast and it might be where we stay, spend the night because we're trying to slow it down a little bit, not use too much diesel, not fly about the country as we used to do. And um, from what I hear from people, some, once again, subscribers, it's really nice. Um, it's a really, really nice place. So if we can find a park up, it might be the place where we spend the night. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So off we went to the beautiful coastal town of Southwold. Okay, so we've just arrived in Southwold and um, as soon as we got here, I crashed for about 45 minutes. I was so tired, but we're up now and we're right in front of the pier and we're gonna go for a walk around. Southwold was actually surprisingly more fun than I originally anticipated with its beautiful beach, colourful beach huts and of course its popular pier with a different kind of amusements to most regular piers. The wackiness of the pier is something not to miss on your visit here. We spent some time in the Under the Pier show where Liam did the world's laziest workout and I got a mystic reading. We enjoyed some of the other attractions before heading to town to see the lighthouse. Situated amongst the town towering 101 metres above its neighbouring fishermen's cottages and of course home of the well-known Adnams Brewery. After a fun day roaming the town, we headed back to the van and went looking for somewhere to park and cook some food. We've just pulled over uh, to find some sea views before we go and find a park up for the evening. We realise there's probably not so many park ups in this area, in the Southwold area for the night, um, that have nice sea views. So we're gonna have something to eat here and then we are gonna go and find a park up afterwards. Um, we might even head to the sort of Norwich area um, after here but either way food views and enjoy our evening okay so today for dinner we're having the asparagus that we bought yesterday um, and we got some leeks as well so we're gonna have that um, we're also gonna have this rice golden vegetable rice to go with it and we're just gonna be really healthy today um, and I'm so excited we've got a few mushrooms as well that are left over from another meal so we're gonna cook them up um, and just have a veggie meal and it's going to be lovely. quickly before I finish dinner I just wanted to show you I put up last night another addition to the van um, and it's our banana hammock and I'm so pleased with it um, we've got some really old bananas in there at the moment and they're kind of black so ignore them but that's just to demonstrate how the banana hammock is going to be and it's really cool I put two hooks in the corners of the windows and I just literally hooped over the bag I bought from Ikea which was featured in last week's video so yeah I'm so pleased with it and that's gonna hold all of our fruit and maybe some veg as well depending on what we've got in so yeah really pleased with it so here it is rice asparagus leeks and mushrooms really simple and we're gonna go up on the roof to eat it and I'm so excited. Quite a solid meal so it's staying, it's not going to blow off. No, the asparagus <laughs> flying about. Asparagus season, literally <laughs> falling from the sky. I put my coat on. Yeah? We'll be up here for about two minutes before we go back down again. Oh, okay let's give it a go. Okay. Oh. oh, it is a bit windy but I'm hungry. It's nice though isn't it, right at the beach? Yeah. She's up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a novelty factor. Oh, it's still so nice though. This is lovely. Mm. It is nice. I've got a jacket on, so it's yeah. a bit better. But look at that view. So is this decking the best thing ever? Yeah. It is 100% the best thing ever. When the wind's down and the heat is up in the summer, it's going to be amazing and I can't wait. And how's your food? And the food's really good as well. It's the best food ever. It's good, isn't it? Mm. This is where we get attacked by seagulls. Mm. Yeah, they're not after vegan food usually. We're quite thankful. Oh, uh, here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah, we know your game. Oh my God. Mind you, it's bad in it up here. Oh no. They normally attack me and they definitely attack you. And this one is well after us. So should we go in? There's two now. Come on. Oh. Shit. 
Sorry, seagulls. <laughs> Not today. Not today. Avoiding an attack by the seagulls, we finished our food inside the van and did the washing up before hopping in the front and leaving. Okay, that's dinner done, or tea, depending on where you come from in the country. And oh, oh my word, it's all kicking off, alarms and everything. <clears throat> we are now going to find a park up. Um, we're going to go past some facilities on the way and that'll be us for the evening um our aim is to head towards the most easterly point of england now we might reach there tonight i'm pretty sure it'll be tomorrow morning so it could be find the park up nearby uh, there's not much around here actually for park ups a lot of them say no overnight camping in the area of southwold um but uh yeah we're gonna go towards somewhere go somewhere else we'll find somewhere we're a removals van um and uh, and then tomorrow wake up and go to the most easterly point which will be really exciting to see what that looks like apparently it's called nest point or something like that so off we go we left this car park making our way to our park up popping into morrison's on the way we found somewhere right on the top of a cliff where we will stay for the night wow what an amazing park up it's literally overlooking a really gorgeous beach and we can look out our windows tomorrow morning and just see the sea and that will be so nice I really wasn't expecting that this evening. Um, I thought we were really lucky yesterday, or this morning, yeah, last night, but I didn't think we were going to be so lucky. So yeah, really happy with this, but it's freezing, so I'm going to go in. We chilled for the evening before hitting the sack. Oh no, I gave my heart away, went a bit too far, so wrong. everyone today we have woken up in a place called Pakefield um, it's close to a place called Lowestoft which is near the Norfolk border um, that's obviously where we're heading to and today we are going to uh, the most easterly point of the UK we're gonna go and check that out and see what it's like um, but last night we slept on top of this cliff we literally slept right on top of the cliff um, it was really windy actually and the sea was really loud <laughs> um, but it was nice I woke up halfway through the night and um, listened to the waves it was it was actually really nice so yeah so we're gonna head off to the most easterly point and see what it's like morning morning what are you doing down there <laughs> just got three messages this morning from people who spotted us really yeah like nice people like every single message we get is from someone nice saying oh it's so nice to see morgan parked here it's so nice to see morgan Park there and i got a photo as well of us did they yeah <laughs> last night when we arrived there was a, a small camper van parked next to us they sent us a message this morning as well saying it was such a nice surprise to open up the door and and see us here <laughs> next to them because it's only a small parking bay so how's it looking it looks it's war it's warmish yeah yeah the cool. wind's warm. Well, so. once the shorts are on, the shorts are on and that's it until, well, hopefully that's it forever now. <laughs> Come then, we? let's go. We headed off through the industrious town of Lowestoft to hunt out the most easterly point. Oh, look, they've got like a little board you can go on to say you've been there. Doesn't help the peeing down with rain either, does it? No. Yeah, this is it. This is, this is it? Yeah. Don't say romance is dead. <laughs> 
Off we went back to the van and this time headed for Norwich. We need water and also on our minds is our laundry. It's well overdue. But first we saw a sign for a wild bean cafe. So I just pulled into a BP to get um, a wild bean coffee, which is one of our favorite coffees on the road. Uh, we are cutting down our coffee consumption, um, but every once every few days now we, we have one um, as a treat. Um, and um, I'm also looking for water as well, properly on the hunt for water. They've got the screen wash water over there that costs £2.50 for 100 seconds. I probably wouldn't get much from that. But around the back of this, there's a tap. And uh, do you like it? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Absolutely Doesn't look like a removal van. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's too nice to oh, thank oh, you. Thank That's you. a big compliment, isn't it? Classy. Oh, thank you. She said, she said our van's classy. Take that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to um, I'm going to fill up now. Um, as we're close to Norwich, we're going to be in Norwich for a, a little while. Let's do it. Mission complete, we ate some brunch and decided to head to Norwich city centre to check out the sights. We wandered around Norwich, which apparently is the most complete medieval city in England and also the happiest city to work in the UK. It was one of the first British cities we had been to where it seemed to have more churches than pubs. Norwich did not disappoint with its bustling streets, vibrant market, many, many food joints, parks, rivers and a lot of history. In fact, Liam wouldn't stop saying how much he loved the place. We went to a restaurant that had been recommended to us and enjoyed some delicious food and iced tea before taking a stroll to see the cathedral, then along the river back to the van. I don't know if it's just because the sun's shining or what, but Norwich is looking absolutely fantastic. It's like a different world. It's, it's like idyllic. Um, yeah, really, really big fans of Norwich. It's instantly pleasing. We headed back to the van after a busy day and went to find our park up for the evening, which turned out to be a lay-by with a field on one side and a busy road on the other. We parked with our windows facing the field and admired the view. Okay guys, that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing and liking the video. We're having a really good time uh, on this trip so far. A really good time. We're in a good place. Uh, we'll see you next time for a more epic journey around the UK coastline. But for, ton for now, tonight, I'm up on the roof Janine's downstairs in the shower and she's making a, gonna make a couple of cups of tea and join me for sunset on the roof deck and that'll be us. We'll see you next week. Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life us crazy but things are finally right with you and I the future